Hi everybody, I'm Tink with Tink Moments, and for my um, subscribers, I'm sorry, it has been a while since I've gotten a video out there since we got home from the cruise. I've been having to focus on my health and getting myself feeling better, plus, as some of you may know, we're getting our house ready for sale, so that's taking a lot of effort too. But today, I received a special request from one of my viewers, his name I think is either Ian or Lan, if I got that wrong, I am so terribly sorry, but he wanted to know how to get the wheels off, and he also wanted to know how to get the cover on. So I'm going to go over those steps with you today, show you some of the toolkits, items, toolkit items, and talk to you a little bit more about my wheelchair. So come on and let's see what we can... Okay, everybody, when I got my wheelchair, hi everybody, when I got my wheelchair, it came boxed up in this shape. I had a toolkit and I had two sets of extra wheels wheels they go on the back so uh, what I want to first show you is the items that I got in the toolkit if I can unzip this there we go okay in my toolkit I received some actual regular wrenches two to or it's actually got four different sizes on it and then I got four different size allen wrenches these are great for tightening any of the little nuts and bolts oops that go around the outside, keeping the chair nice and tight. If I need to do any other fixing, um, let's say with the arm back here, if I wanted to get to where I'm tightening the arm, I can take a bigger one, fit it in, and I can tighten everything down. That keeps it for a much nicer ride as we go. All of these items I keep with me all the time in case something gets loose in this bag right here under the chair. And... I, when he, um, when my viewer asked what about taking off wheels, I'm not exactly sure which set of wheels he was talking about, so I'm going to go over a couple different ones with you. Okay. As you notice, there is one front set of wheels. These are called casters. Then we've got the actual back wheels. These are each attached to their own brushless motor. And as I showed you earlier, I've got a set of what I call my training wheels, and what these are good for, we'll show you in just a second, are so my wheelchair doesn't tip over when I'm going up a steep incline. So, if I wanted to take and remove the casters, if I want to remove the whole unit, they um, require a wrench here that is bigger than the biggest one I have. So you would have to get a wrench and unscrew that for the whole unit to come off. However, if you are needing to work on the tire, because sometimes these casters have a possibility of coming off of the plastic there, this one is going to take the big Allen wrench, and you would go in here, unscrew it all the way, remove the tire. If you have a tire that is smaller, you can attach it here if you for your replacement, or just get the new tire or put it back on the caster, put it in, and screw, screw everything down, and you'll be set to go. For the back set of wheels, these that are attached to the motors, let me turn this a little bit for you. You can see that there is a motor here. The wrenches will work in these sockets, but I personally don't want to remove the wheels. Um, those are something that I would have done by a mechanic. Speaking of, just a quick tink moment off to the side. When we were flying home from the cruise, my wheelchair did get damaged by the airline. I'm not having a problem with the airline, so I don't want to bring them into this. But what I do want to point out is when you're flying with the wheelchair, when you're flying with a wheelchair, um, Make sure that they are taking good care of your wheelchair. That's going to come in here, um, something we're going to talk about again when we get to the wheelchair bag. But this is the second wheelchair that I've had damaged by an airplane um, attendant. So just a warning, if you can keep it on the plane with you in the stewardess cabinet, that would be the best. If not, just ask for extra special care with your wheelchair. Let's go ahead and move on to the other. Okay, now moving on to the final set of wheels. You notice I've already got the one added on here, and on this one here, there's a little um, blah, 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 blah. there's a little button on the end of this pole. If you look here at that point, it makes that little ball bearing disappear when I push it in. So there's a hole here on the side of the frame, and what that's good for is for this little um, pole to go inside. I push in on the button, give it a slide, then I'm going to lock this into place and that gives me a little bit of leeway here but that's so my wheelchair won't 
tip over. Now to remove these, it's going to be the same thing as I did but in reverse. You take this little black button right here and push in and put your hands on the bar there and pull it all off as one fluid motion. So then we do the same thing over here. We're going to push in and we are going to slide it out. I'm sorry that's difficult. This is the area that was damaged on the wheelchair and I'm thinking that that might have had a little bit to do with the removing of them. Usually they kind of slide in and out as easily as the one did on the, what side is that? The left side. So now we need to move on. One more thing I was asked was how do we put the cover on this so that we can get it ready for either stowing or ready to go on the airplane. So we're going to fold this up real quick and then we'll show you how it gets into the Okay guys, one thing before we fold it up, I was jumping ahead of myself. If you're going to be actually taking your um, wheelchair on a plane, you do need to remove the batteries. To do that, there is a screw back here that you are going to unscrew. And once it's unscrewed, we're able to pull the fitting right off. Just give me a second. It was in there nice and tight. And that comes off. Once that is removed, there is... I'll show you that when we, I get them all the way out. There's a clip on the bottom. Pull those out. You were lifting up on that to slide them out in one unit. And you will be required to take these onto the plane with you. So have a bag that you can put these in and those won't go against your carry-on bags. It is part of medical supplies. So you can use as much room as you need to for these. For this section, I am gonna have my oil pan helper help me out to show us how to get the wheelchair into the bag. First thing, we need to finish getting the bag ready to fold up, and here is the handle for the wheelchair. And as you notice right now, we've loosened it and dropped it down. If you're just putting it in the back of your car or maybe in your truck, it's okay to leave that on, but if you happen to be preparing this to go for an uh, airplane, you're gonna to wanna to detach this cable right here. And then you would unscrew the handle and put that in that bag, the bag that's under this footrest right here, right there. That's where we keep our tools and everything with us. And the other thing is, I noticed when I went to, over the front, there is the wheels that are on the front, both wheel casters like this. They fit better on, in the bag if you fold them closed just like so. Okay, now going on to the bag. This is the fold -a wheel bag, the one that we use to cover the wheelchair. And when you see the wheel or the fold -a wheel sign on the front, I know that looks like it may be the front. However, if we can turn the bag around, I will show you what the front of the bag looks like. And there is a patch right under the, the handle. And we are not sure what this patch is for yet. If anybody that is watching happens to know, I would love to learn. Please leave that in the comments below. But this is how you know what is the front of the wheelchair bag and why that is important because we're going to lay the bag down with the front side up and that would allow us to extend the back side with the holes down. Those are the part that is laying on the ground right now is getting moved under the wheelchair and you're going to want to line up. Give me just a second. I need to move over. You're going to want to line up the frame and the springs on your wheelchair down at that level there are two holes on either side one is for the frame one is for the springs and they will fit perfectly lined up in there if you have laid the bag with the back um, on the ground and the bottom on the front then what you're going to want to do is take and lift this bag all the way up and over the chair and they have made sure to make it nice and snug with a good fit so it's not loose and allowing things to move around that aren't supposed to. So you're going to want to pull this down, snug it as far down as you possibly can. What you hear is the Velcro on the other side tightening it in. He's going to use the Velcro on this side as well once he has it fit. And seal that closed. And then he is going to bring the Velcro here up in the front. And below that patch that I showed you, he's going to seal the bag up. Now, with the bag all sealed, the handle on top, if my wheels were in good working order, you'd be able to take and roll this wheelchair wherever you needed it to go. Okay, 
one of the things that I was reminded of is that before you put the bag on, you're going to want to unlock your wheels. When we were looking at the wheels, I'll try and go back and clip a part in and show you a picture. There's a red lock on your wheels and you're going to want that to be unlocked so that these wheels can roll nice and easy. They're not having to pick up the bag and move it in that manner. So, thank you for watching today. And for my regular subscribers, I am going to try and get some more videos out there soon. Just please be patient. And if you have any comments, please leave those in the comment section down below. And if you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it. And if you haven't joined or followed yet, that's what I'm trying to say. Go ahead and find that subscribe button wherever I put it. Give it a click. Remember to click on that bell so you know when my new videos are, videos are coming out. And I'll see you next time, guys. See you out there. Bye-bye.